What's up YouTube? This is your girl Sian and I just want to do a quick video while it's on my mind about emotional eating. Um, anybody that's been on a weight loss journey for any amount of time know you're going to have moments when you just really want to just eat everything in creation. Today is one of those days for me. Um, basically we're getting down to the last month of my wedding and today is September the 4th. We get married on October the 6th and I have not done invitations kind of hit me today like um you forgot something and i've done so many of the other major things that that one little thing just completely slipped my mind so it's been a task today to get things together to get my invitations done and they're still not done so i'm a little bit stressed out <laughs> i'm not gonna lie um so i had a moment this afternoon um basically right now my plan consists of about 1400 calories a day 12 to 1400 depending on what like what i'm um <clears throat> excuse me about basically on what I'm doing and what I'm exercising and what I'm noticing as I am coming the longer I'm on this journey the easier it gets but also the harder it gets because I know better so I should do better but it's so easy sometimes to slip back into bad habits which is why like I can lose weight like nothing it's not that hard for me to lose weight my issue is maintaining my weight loss and I'm currently struggling with that right now so basically when I got out this evening like I've been pretty much all day been trying to figure out how to get these invitations printed, how to get them off in this that, and the third. So when I got out this afternoon, it's like all I had to go do is go to obviously go and get them printed. But they're printing things not working, so I have to go back tomorrow. Um which is gonna like okay, so I'm gonna be another day behind. So it kinda freaked me out a little bit. Um basically today I've ate pretty much on plan. I had a I can shake and a banana for breakfast. I had um, some apple sauce as a snack. I had a smart ones for lunch and uh, um, frozen yogurt. So good. And basically, all of my calories for today are on target. I'm not hungry, but I am stressing. And when I stress, I tend to want to eat something that I should. And right now, it's just a craving. And I know it's just a craving. So when I went to the Office Depot, Office Depot is in the parking lot or Wendy's is in the parking lot of Office Depot. And I had one of my bigger thoughts. And basically that was like, well, if I run to the drive through real quick, I can get me like a ginger bacon cheese or maybe some chicken nuggets real quick. Eat something so I'll feel better and he'll never know. Cause I gotta go home and cook dinner. So and there have been times in the past that I have done that no lie. It's like I'll run through a drive through on the way home. Throw the package away before I get to the house and then still cook dinner. That's how come I got to my highest weight doing things like that. So it sometimes takes me a minute to step back and go, no, you got dinner planned. I've even got I've got dinner planned and I've got dessert planned for dinner. It's gonna fall within my carolines. I still have a workout to do this afternoon. And if I go through Wendy's, Wendy's, and if I do that, it's gonna feel good for like 2.3 seconds. I'm gonna feel awful. Which means I'm going to try to work those extra calories off when I work out later on. My body's already hurting from the two hours I did yesterday. So I was like, how about you just step back a second, let the craving pass, and go about your day. So, my this pretty much if you're an emotional eater, you're always going to be an emotional eater. Because you're always going to feel something. Some people eat because they're happy. Some people eat because they're stressed. Some people eat just because they can. I was all of the above. So it took and it's taking and it's going to continue to take a lot for me to remind myself that okay to stop being the bigger person sometimes I have to be the bigger person and tell myself no and I know sometimes you'll hit places like that in your journey too and it's so easy to just give in but when I do that I always feel so horrible out dream it's like that could have been avoided so sometimes if you just take a second to step back and go Every day is not going to be perfect. Sometimes you will give in. But as long as you say no more than you say yes, you're going to get to where you're trying to get. And for me, it's like I just have to really seriously. I'm at Winn Dixie now. I'm going in to go get me some wheat bread so I can have me a healthy hamburger for dinner and some baked fries and then my skinny guy ice cream. That's what's on plan. So I. I think the moments pass, like I said, they come every now and again, and sometimes it hits me really, really hard. And I know that over the next four weeks, I'm probably going to come across more moments like that as I get closer to the wedding. But I keep reminding myself that this journey is not necessarily just about my wedding. It's because I want to be a healthy wife, 
and I want to be a healthy mother someday. So I want to be around for my nephews. I want to be around for my stepdaughter. I want to be the person that he fell in love with. And basically that's gonna, what I really love about my fiance is I didn't necessarily start losing weight for the wedding. My turning point to losing weight was we were in Walmart almost a year ago. And we were standing in line getting ready to check out. Wasn't paying attention. We're just standing there just chatting or whatever. And he turned, he's like, why are you breathing so hard? I had gotten to the point that my weight, I seriously like would get winded walking from my car to my job. I would get winded walking from my car to my house. Walking around Walmart, which I love going, I used to love going to Walmart, was like the biggest task in the creation. Like I had done a full workout and I was standing there, wasn't doing anything. I was so out of breath that it sounded like I was like seriously breathing like freaking Darth Vader, standing still. And that was my turning point. It's like, he doesn't care how much I weigh. He has been through when I was like down to like 240, down to my smallest at 219, when I got to my biggest at 375. He's been there through all of it. So he doesn't care how much I weigh. More of my hangups for my weight come from me. And my whole thing is I want to be healthy, not for him, but because of him. Because he, well, when he feels like he'll work out with me, he'll, it's funny, even when he's not on plan or when he's not eating healthy, he still encouraged me to do the right thing. Which is not always easy when I got to make him this, this, and this, and I can't have that. So he really is pretty good about that. So sometimes it takes a little bit to get your emotions in check and to learn your, every day is not going to be perfect. Every day is not going to be the best. But as long as your good days outweigh your bad days, in the end, you will get to where you're going. So that is my video for today. I will talk to y'all later. As always, stay sweet and be blessed.